Good morning and welcome to the Splash Live, Greater West Bloomfield's only local morning show, giving you exclusive access into people, businesses, and events in your community. I'm your host, Maddie Mustin. We are live daily weekdays at 9.30 a.m. Before we dive into today's show, every week we highlight someone, an educator, student, business, or organization from our Greater West Bloomfield community going above and beyond. If you would like to submit an entry for someone, you can scan the QR code on the screen, fill out the Google form with the person's name, their contact information, and reasons why they should be recognized for our person of the week. We're now going to check out some of our current events going on in Greater West Bloomfield community. The first one happening this Sunday is the Greater West Bloomfield Special Open House. This upcoming Sunday, the Greater West Bloomfield Historical Society is hosting one of their special open houses. This Sunday, it is going to be happening from 1 until 4 p.m. at the Orchard Lake Museum off of Orchard Lake Road. You can learn about the Toy Hall of Fame from Sue Griffer and play with the vintage game and toys there. You can enjoy the newly reopened Orchard Lake Museum with the new exhibits and the permanent exhibits that they have there to explore the Toy Hall of Fame and get your hands on some of those vintage toys. Our next event is the West Bloomfield Township Library events. The West Bloomfield Township Public Library has started their virtual programming that includes a variety of interactive events for all ages. The library has some great events this week, including today. They have their virtual storytelling at 6.30 p.m. with Lauren. They will also be having a book talk at 7 p.m. on Thursday with Amore Tolls to talk about his book, The Lincoln Highway. If you would like to register for these, you can do so by going to the West Bloomfield Township Public Library website in their events calendar page and register by clicking on the event of your choice. The West Bloomfield Township Public Library also has those fantastic tender topic and literacy kits that you can rent out through youth services. If you're either looking to enhance your child's literacy or teach them about some of those tender topics, you can contact the library to schedule a time to rent out the kit of your choice. Our next event is the West Bloomfield uh, Parks Black History Month event. The West Bloomfield Parks is working with the West Bloomfield West Bloomfield Diversity Task Force to bring new free events to celebrate Black History Month. This Saturday, they have the Love Yourself Wellness Well Black event for ages 16 and up on Saturday, February 12th. From 9 until 11.30, this event, you can come celebrate both Black History Month and health, Heart Health Month with an interactive event that will fuel your heart, mind, and soul. This event includes a doctor's roundtable discussion on heart disease, hypertension, and nutrition, and they will also be having free trials of yoga, Zumba, and dance lessons. You will also be able to sell, sample healthy heart treats after the discussions. This event is going to be at Connect this Saturday. West Bloomfield Parks also is hosting another Black History Month event on Saturday, February 26th from 10 until 2 p.m. at Orchard Mall. They will be hosting their Black Expo. For any of these events, you can head over to the West Bloomfield Parks website to register. If you have an event you would like us to feature, you can send us a message on our social media pages at Civic Center TV and Facebook at Civic Center TV 15. Coming up, I'll be talking with Chris Darcy, the Township Supervisor Executive Assistant for West Bloomfield. But before that, during the COVID-19 pandemic, businesses have been impacted greatly. We talked to business owners here in Greater West Bloomfield and asked them how they have adapted and worked in their businesses to make sure that they are thriving into the new year. With 2022 in full swing, the pandemic has impacted the local Greater West Bloomfield community for almost two years now. We asked local business owners to describe how they have been impacted throughout the pandemic. Pandemic obviously affected all industries, all professions. Uh, it affected chiropractic a little bit differently than every other profession because we're hands-on. There's no working virtually, there's no telehealth, there's no phone room in. We're, you know, we're, we're an in-person, hands-on profession. So when the pandemic first started, we definitely noticed and we had to make some changes, changes in how we were sanitizing the office, changes in our flow of patients through the office, limiting the amount of people in at a time. And since, you know, since things have initially started to go back to normal and now started heading back into the pandemic um, protocols, we've been seeing a very different type of patient where our office was traditionally people with musculoskeletal pain, spinal pain, and then people for maintenance and wellness that wanted to maintain their spinal health, keep the spine healthy proactively. What we've noticed over the last year, year and a half, two years, is a very different type of patients. We've been seeing a lot more kids, a lot more adolescents because they were going to school from home. Mm -hmm. 
So we transitioned from being a bricks and mortar store to online during the pandemic. And um, it gave us an opportunity to be doing a lot of virtual stuff with our customers and being able to still have that personal touch and that personal guidance for accessorizing, but to being able to do it virtually gives us another area to expand to other uh, clientele. A lot of our customers actually in the area moved out of state, so being online gives them quick access for that. And then all our social media with Instagram and Facebook gives us opportunities to be able to reach new um, opportunities. Um, I think for for most uh, for most businesses, uh, for us, um, the event part of our business was in fact shut down um, for a large percent portion of 2020, um, and um, it's also shown um, how we've had to change a lot um, on the plant side of our business too. Um, so I, I'd say that we're not going to fully know what the shakeup's going to be uh, for a little while further, um, but it definitely changes the way that we think about investment. It changes on how we deliver um, products to our customers and it also changes our assumptions as to what the future might be. I would say the biggest thing for me is my ability to work with people without being in the same room. I have lots of clients that either are fitness or coaching in some way that we work through virtual. Uh, it's still one-on-one. -on -one. It's very personal. Um, you can be anywhere in the world uh, to do the fitness training. Uh, it's safe and wonderful, and it makes a lot of sense for people. That door has been opened and has stayed open since day one of the pandemic, and people are really leveraging the idea of being on the phone or uh, uh, virtual as one other way of getting themselves where they need and want to be on their terms. We wish those local business owners that have been affected by COVID-19 the best as they head into 2022. Reporting for The Splash Live, I'm Maddie Muschin. Thank you so much to all of those business owners for talking to us about COVID, how COVID has impacted their businesses and what they're doing to adapt to the ongoing pandemic. Later on, we'll be looking into the perfect place in Kegel Harbor to find a gift for a special someone for Valentine's Day. But before that, we'll be joined by Chris Darcy, the Township Supervisor's Executive Assistant for West Bloomfield. All of that and more after this short break. We'll be right back with The Splash Live. In the face of COVID-19, staying healthy is important. And now the same is true as we face the flu. Influenza has the potential to infect millions, putting lives and the healthcare system at risk. Fortunately, it's easy to protect yourself. The flu vaccine is safe and effective, and with COVID-19 still spreading, it's essential. To see how you can hit this virus head on, visit michigan.gov slash flu. Can I ask you a question? Uh why do you want to get the COVID-19 vaccine? I don't like getting sick. The virus will die. It will be easy to not catch it. Keep my family safe and keep playing soccer because I love being vaccinated. What's your hope for everyone? I hope everybody gets the vaccine. To keep safe and strong. Be like happy, having fun everywhere. Everyone stay safe and hope you get the vaccine. And now, back to The Splash Live. Welcome back to The Splash Live. I'm your host, Maddie Mushin. It's now time to talk with Chris Darcy. She's the West Bloomfield Township Executive Assistant for their Township Supervisor, Steve Kaplan. Chris, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Yeah, thank you. Chris, the Township has their mandatory private waste hauler, the Green for Life, also known as GFL. We have a little mini GFL container here. Can you tell us a little bit about that and ways that they can, residents here in West Bloomfield can get their waste hauled? Um, if um, we are a single hauler community, which means that the um, township board has signed a contract and agreement with Green for Life for trash hauling services. Um, unlike a lot of communities though, their payment is not part of our taxes. So um, GFL does send out a separate invoice at the beginning of the month in like usually March sometime uh, mid maybe middle of March and um, so yeah they collect our our trash hauling for um, 
trash, recycling, and compost during certain months, during the months of um, April through December, usually 16th around there is the compost pickup. And then if a resident in West Bloomfield has either a special or a large pickup, what can they do about that and who would they contact to pick up those large or special items that they might want to get rid of? Um, a lot of times we'll have the residents just call us, um, us being um, myself and Steve Kaplan, um, to request a large item pickup. Um, even though it's really not necessary, but if they ever have any problems with any pickup or they're missed or any questions or issues whatsoever, we ask them to call us. But in general, um, each week GFL will automatically collect one and sometimes even two large items. So that could be that could be a couch, a love seat, a kitchen table, you know, like a like a mattress and box spring. They will automatically take that on the regular trash day without any you know, necessary advance notice. Chris, if a resident has a special hazardous household waste service, so something that maybe GFL would not be able to pick up on a daily basis, you guys offer two weekends per year at Town Hall to dispose of those special hazardous um, household waste items. Can you tell us a little bit about those weekends and how someone in West Bloomfield can drop off their items? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we have household, like you mentioned, we have household hazardous waste events. Um, two times per year, and um, they can the residents can bring anything from like paint, chemicals, um, old gasoline or old oil, fertilizers, medications. Um, some people like to collect their light bulbs and batteries. Um, also, electronic waste. So if you have an old television or a printer or um, you know, anything cell phone or anything that you'd like to get rid of that you no longer use, you can bring it to the household hazardous waste event. And we do have um, a means to dispose of that um, environmentally, you know, conscious um, methods. And our events for this year are um, for household hazardous waste, we have April 9th, which is a Saturday from 9 to 12. And then the second one is in October, October 22nd from 9 to 12. And then senior citizens can drop off on the Friday prior from 4 to 6 p.m. Um, with no appointment necessary. They can just drop off at the town hall right here in our parking lot at town hall. Um, so on Friday, it would be Friday, April 8th and October 21st for the senior drop offs for this year. Chris, also for those West Bloomfield residents, if they have um, either some papers or documents that they would like to be shredded and disposed of. If they don't have a paper shredder at home, you guys offer two special shredding days there at Town Hall. Can you tell us about that and what sort of documents um, that West Bloomfield residents are able to bring you guys? Okay, yeah, absolutely. We have um, a shredding company that comes twice per year. It used to, once upon a time, a couple years ago, it used to coincide with our household hazardous waste events. And they became so popular that the lines were just um, horrendous and it was, you know, um, a little bit problematic along Orchard Lake and Walnut Lake. Um, so what we did was we separated those out. And now if residents have shredding, um, they can bring any of their personal documents, um, just the papers themselves. They can, they can be, you know, paper clipped or stapled. It doesn't matter, just not commercial documents. But personal documents, they get shredded right here on site in the truck that comes um, nothing leaves our site you know that's not been shredded um, and those events are april 23rd which is a saturday again april 23rd and september 24th and those are from nine to noon also so if, if they have any shredding they can bring it those saturdays or again for friday they have friday evening drop-offs for senior citizens and that would be the Friday, the 22nd of April or the 23rd of September for um, from 4 to 6 p.m. Chris, uh, there at Town Hall in West Bloomfield, you guys also offer some snowbird discounts for res residents that are residing outside of West Bloomfield for at least one month. Can you tell us about those snowbird discounts and what they are applied to and how someone would go about um, you know, applying or reaching out to um, apply for one of those? Yeah, absolutely. Um, GFL offers, um, they can offer up to a six month hiatus of service 
for people that don't reside in their homes year round. Um, there is a form, it's a very brief form, just asks for specific dates that, that they will be away and don't want service. Um, and there is a form, that form can be obtained through GFL, um, or if they wanted to get in touch with us here at the town hall building, we can also, you know, send that form to them via email or something, and they can just get it completed and sent back, and then we'll get that, you know, over to GFL so they're, uh, they have a certain number of months deducted from their annual invoice. Chris, as we wrap up here, you guys also have complimentary recycling containers for the residents. We have uh, one of those little mini containers here for the recycling containers. Um, so if one of your residents doesn't have one of these, how would they go about getting those complimentary recycling containers? Um, we have the recycling bins that are just the, um, the box, you know, plastic box type thing, handheld bin. We have those on site here at the town hall building. For anybody that wants to stop by, we can get one of those for them. Um, we also have complimentary recycling carts, which are 64 gallon carts on wheels. Um, those get delivered directly from GFL. So if anyone would like a complimentary recycling cart, um, they can just contact um, myself or Steve and we just take their address down and get that over to GFL and they usually get that delivered within one to two weeks. And also um, GFL does sell their own branded matching like trash 95 gallon trash carts. Um, those are not complimentary, but they are for sale from GFL if anyone is interested in using that one of those. Well, Chris, thank you so much for taking time out of your morning and joining us. Yeah, thank you. Once again, I was joined by Chris Darcy. She is the West Bloomfield Township Supervisor, Executive Assistant for Steve Kaplan, telling us a little bit about the waste pickup and how GFL is helping Town Hall. If you're either looking for the perfect gift for your special someone for Valentine's Day or you want to hang out with your gal pals for Valentine's Day, Sage Green Floral Shop has everything you need. I met with owner Aaron Shoneman to talk about their Valentine's Day specials and events going on this weekend. Let's go check it out. Are you looking for last minute Valentine's Day plans or the perfect gift for your loved one? Sage Green Floral Shop in Kiko Harbor has everything you need and more. Owner Aaron Shoneman highlighted some of their promotions and events happening for the love-filled holiday. So we've put together a little curated look for Valentine's Day this year. It's very poppy and bold and bright and playful. It's, it's going away from more of the just traditional red roses and we're adding some peaches and pinks and other pops of colors in there with the red. Um, and some unique flowers, maybe some tropical flowers mixed with the roses. Uh, traditionally, we have a lot of men coming in and wanting just red roses, but we really know what the ladies like, so we've decided to curate something that we would like to receive. And that's available on our Instagram page and Facebook page. Erin also talked to us about their shop and how you can get your hands on some of the handmade and locally sourced items for sale at Sage Green. We have uh, a big mix of artisans in the area that sell their goods here, whether it's jewelry or candles or home items, we've got them all here. We have chocolate and cards, perfumes, most of them locally sourced and small batch, most of them women artisans. So there's really everything here for a one-stop shop for Valentine's Day. We've also partnered with Sophia's Bakery, so we have cupcakes and Brie and Bamboo, they're doing cheese and meat trays for sale as well. Sage Green is hosting events this weekend for your Valentine and your Galentine that include flowers, drinks, and fun in their separate event space inside the shop. We have a couple's date night. Friday night, it's a workshop. You will design flowers together as a couple. We have wine and champagne and snacks. And then we have a Galentine's Day workshops on Saturday. Um, so your favorite friends, your best friends, your gal pals all get together. We'll have mimosas and again, treats and together make beautiful flowers. So that's something fun we're doing, but you have to buy tickets now. And that link is both on our Facebook page and our Instagram to get the tickets for that. Um, we also have packages. So if you're having like a Galentine's party, 
We've again partnered with Sophia's Bakery and Brie and Bamboo and our flowers so you can buy a whole Valentine's Day package where you've got the snacks and the treats and the flowers. We have flower crowns, we have dried flower arrangements. We have a whole fun curated mix. But again, you have to go to our Facebook page or Instagram or give us a call to purchase those items. Make sure to get your tickets for these events happening this weekend before they sell out, or you'll miss out on sharing the love of flowers and fun at Sage Green Floral Shop in Kiko Harbor. Reporting for the Splash Live, I'm Maddie Mustion. Thank you again to Erin for giving us some details about their events happening this weekend for Valentine's Day and Galentine's Day. If you want some more information, you can look at their Facebook or Instagram pages, as well as give them a call at Sage Green Floral Shop in Kigo Harbor. We are now joined by Nina Lopayton. She is the audiologist at Direct Hearing, telling us a little bit about her business and her background in audiology. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, Nina. Of course. Nina, could you start off by telling us a little bit about how you got into audiology and what led you to this career path? Of course, uh, how I found my passion is what you're asking, Maddie. Yeah, I gravitated towards uh, medicine, allied health throughout my life and I bumped into audiology and speech sciences at MSU. Uh, I graduated with my master's degree in audiology from Case Western Reserve in Cleveland and ended up back here in the Detroit area by connecting with a sorority sister for my first job in 1984. Uh, I've worked in various hospital settings where I was responsible for the infant hearing screening program. I did interoperative monitoring, uh, evoke potential monitoring for neurosurgery cases. I did vestibular and balance testing. Uh, I primarily focused on hearing loss and hearing aids though since 2004. I started my own private practice in 2018 in West Bloomfield on Orchard Lake Road, north 14 mile, west side of the street between the Ferrari dealership and Chase Bank. That's where you'll find me. Nina, let's talk a little bit about your practice, Direct Hearing, located in West Bloomfield. How are you guys helping the community members of Greater West Bloomfield with some of those um, issues that they might be having with their hearing, whether that's hearing loss or getting hearing aids? Okay, um, direct, hearing, direct hearing's impact on the West Bloomfield community. I live in West Bloomfield and I practice in West Bloomfield. Uh, the residents of West Bloomfield and the surrounding communities are my people. They're the ones I wanna serve, primarily the seniors. Uh, I am a member of the Greater West Bloomfield Chamber of Commerce and as an active participant with the senior resource group and we speak to the west bloomfield parks and rec uh, seniors monthly with the talk times and the field trips around town may be coming back soon as well uh, i am a sponsor of the west bloomfield parks and rec connect space at orchard mall and i also was a sponsor of the chamber of commerce health and wellness fair in june at the township offices where i met you i continue to support all that enriches the lives of the senior residents of our community maddie nina with the patients that you see at direct hearing what are some of the biggest challenges that they come in and see you about and what types of treatments and services do you provide for them at uh, direct hearing we both have challenges, I'll tell you that. One of my challenges is encouraging people to come in for a baseline hearing evaluation to document where you're hearing at this point in time because you don't know what you're missing, honestly. And I provide the service as no charge as part of my mission. Uh, for patients, it's challenging when hearing loss is present because people struggle to stay connected to family and friends, which may lead to a lot of frustration for all concerned, honestly. Uh, hearing and understanding TV well is a common challenge since we're still doing that a lot. Uh, I hear about enjoying dinner with, uh, with friends in a noisy restaurant. People are challenged with or without a hearing loss. Um, for me, I'm helping patients realize how much energy it takes to hear and understand when you're struggling with undetected hearing loss. Um, 
Another service that I provide is making custom hearing protection for hunting and shooting. I do custom monitors for musicians. I do swim plugs and sleep plugs, anything ear mold making. Nina, with the ongoing pandemic, how has your approach to treatment for patients shifted and how have you adapted your business there at Direct Hearing? Well, it's been a time as we all know, but I asked patients to call me from the parking lot when they arrived to prevent people from crossing, pa crossing paths in the waiting room. I wear a mask as do most of my patients and I'm very diligent about the cleaning protocols I put in place in between patients and I have an air filter that's also constantly on. Uh, curbside service, that's a new added benefit. I can do clean and checks curbside uh, if needed, don't have to come in. And uh, Maddie, my patients still need to hear, so I need to be able to help them the best way I know how. Nina, as we wrap up, is there anything else you'd like to share about your practice direct hearing or about the services that you provide for the residents here in Greater West Bloomfield? Yes, uh, I, what I, I see myself, Maddie, as a concierge audiologist because of the exceptional compassionate care my patients receive. Um, I allow as much time as my patients need to learn all that's involved with having a hearing evaluation, explaining the results, programming hearing instruments, and even programming cell phones, making the care and maintenance of wearing hearing aids as simple as possible. My patients have my cell phone number and I respond to calls, texts, emails within 24 hours. Honestly, Maddie, my goal is to make my patients' lives easier so they don't have to work so hard to hear and understand those people who are so important to them. That's what I do. Well, Nina, thank you so much for taking time out of your morning and joining us to talk about direct hearing. My pleasure, Maddie. Be well. Thank you. Once again, I was joined by Nina Lopayton. She is the audiologist and owner there at Direct Hearing in West Bloomfield. If you want any more information or want to contact her, you can reach out to her on her website. That's going to do it for today's show. Thank you again to Chris Darcy and Nina Lopayton for joining us this morning to talk about some of the great things happening here in Greater West Bloomfield. Thank, special thanks to our Zoom producer, Jared Clark, for coordinating the Zoom and making sure our guests joined us. As always, a big thank you to Calvin Brown, our board operator, for making the show possible each and every morning here on The Splash Live. And thank you for joining me as we explored all of the people and events in our Greater West Bloomfield community. As always, you can make sure to tune in live here on Civic Center TV. It's going to be on Comcast Channel 15 and AT&T Channel 99. Monday through Friday at 9.30 to catch up on what's going on in our greater West Bloomfield community. You can also watch our show every morning on My Michigan TV. This is a new streaming service that covers all of the great people and events happening around Michigan. If you either want to download their free app or watch live for free, you can head over to MyMyTV.com or download their My My app on your smartphone or smart TV. That's My Michigan TV. It's MyMyTV.com. All of our archived stories and interviews are going to be on CivicCenterTV.com. You can follow us on YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram at CivicCenterTV and Facebook at CivicCenterTV15. For all of our friends in Sylvan Lake, Orchard Lake, Kiko Harbor, and West Bloomfield, I'm Maddie Mushin. Thank you for watching The Splash Live.